sometimes I'm talked over in meetings and you have to be the one that breaks in uh, to get your point heard. It's easy to sit back and listen and then people think that you're not strong or you don't have an opinion. You have to break in. ever had those moments where somebody didn't know you were the boss? Oh, definitely. I actually met my husband at a business meeting. I was in charge of mergers and acquisitions for the company I was working for, and we were trying to buy his company. I was the only woman in the room. I was the decision maker, and he actually ignored me the whole meeting. He didn't realize till the end of the meeting that I was actually the decision maker, so it definitely happens all of the time. What is your advice to women who do find themselves being mansplained or talked over. I still put my hand up and say, you know, let me finish my point in, in a professional way. Or, you know what, I have something to say. When we're younger, we think everybody's thinking about what you're thinking or how you appear or how you look, but the truth is people aren't thinking about you as much as you think. At a tactical level, what do you do if somebody just repeats your idea as theirs? You can extend it. They repeat the idea as yours and then you go back in and you say, well, here's how I'm thinking about this. So you lay out the points and you're the one that actually had the idea and has thought through it with the strategy, the tactics, and the results. So you just have to go back in and pick it back up. Why are there so few women running big companies in this country? We have so much coverage of male entrepreneurs, male leaders, that it gets back to trying to see role models that are like you. It's very easy to keep covering the people that are famous already because people want to read those articles where we need to actually build up other types of leaders that aren't like everybody else being currently covered. And I think part of it comes down to seeing role models. If you don't see role models like you, you don't know that that's a path for you. Very few female venture capitalists, right? It's 9%. So if you don't know that that's a career path or an opportunity, you, don't, you won't see that expand. You need a champion to help you leapfrog. Well, most of the people in positions of power are men, and it's easier to choose people that are like you or to ask for help from people that are like you. And so we need champions for women that are both women and men to help shift this discussion and, and the opportunity. Mm -hmm.